Welcome. Today we are diving into Dynant Risk Pattern Language or DPL, a powerful tool to match and extract data effortlessly. My name is Inder Mohan Singh and let's get started. Let's start with some sample data. In the table, we have two fields, timestamp and content. If you want to extract certain data from the fields, in this case content fields, you can use DPL. The data in the content columns or field starts with a sequence number, followed by a comma, then a name, followed by another comma, and finally an IP address. Since the matching happens from left to right, we will begin with sequence number, which is an integer. In DPL, we have matchers, built in many patterns that you can use to match certain type of data. In this case, we can use the int matcher to match the sequence number. Next, we match the comma, a literal character in our data. In DPL, literals can be matched directly using quotes as shown on the screen. After the comma, we have names. We can use the LD matcher, which stands for line data, to match these names. LD matches anything in the line until there is a next non-optional matcher given. After the name, we have another comma, so we will match it with another literal expression. Finally, we need to match the IP address. For this, we use the IP error matcher. IP error matches both IPv4 and IPv6 addresses. Here is our complete pattern. At some point, you would want to extract certain values out of this data. You can do that by adding colon and label right after the matcher. This label becomes a field name in dql. In this example, by adding labels like id, name and ip, we extract these matched values into fields name, id, name and ip as shown on the screen. You can also configure matches to suit your need. For example, to match a specific range of integers instead of any integer, you can provide parameters to int matcher as following. This pattern matches integers between 1 to 100 and extract the value to a field named id. You can find this information in the configuration column in DPL docs for each matcher. You also have option to define character group to match data in DQL. For instance, if you want to match integer between 0 to 9, uppercase A to Z, and lowercase A to Z in one matcher, you can write the character group as shown on the screen. It is important to understand that it only matches a single character, so if there are multiple characters, it wouldn't match these extra characters. It's also good to know that the syntax is compatible with regular expressions. Quantifiers help you specify how many times an element should be matched. They are essential when dealing with repeating elements. Now imagine that you have the same character group matcher mentioned above. However, you want to match one or many values. You can do that using plus quantifier as shown. By the way, there is a built-in matcher called alnum that does exactly the same. Check the DPL docs for different matchers and also other types of quantifiers. Lookarounds allow you to match patterns that follow or proceed a certain sequence without including them in the match. The term lookaround means to peek either forward or backward from the current position without actually moving forward. Let's break this down. Imagine you have following data in decal result. Now in the content field, if you want to match the IP address only if it is followed by a string valid, you can use the positive look ahead as shown on the screen. You can also do negative look ahead and both positive and negative look behind in DPL. Let's look at this final example. Imagine you have following data in your DQL result. 
If you look at the content field, you can see that you have key value pairs separated by a space. Now, if you want to extract these key value pairs into JSON form, also called as complex record in DQL, you can use the KVP matcher. Start with the KVP matcher and then use open curly braces. First, we need to specify how to extract the key names. It is clear that there are two keys, ID and name. Therefore, we can use character group that matches alphabets as shown to match the key names. It is mandatory to extract this with label key as shown. Now, we also must specify the symbol through which a key is associated to a value. In our case, it is equal to sign. So let's specify that using literal expression as shown on the screen. Next, we need to specify how to extract the value for each pair. It is clear that the ID has numeric value and the name has alphabetic value. We need something that could work on both of them. Therefore, we can use alnum matcher and extract it using label value. Then we need to match an empty space that separates multiple key value pairs. We can use literal expression again as shown on the screen. Just keep in mind that the space doesn't come after the last key value pair. Therefore, we have to make it optional using question mark. Finally, we need to extract the whole key value pair using a label as shown on the screen. To explore more and become a DPL expert, check out the documentation by scanning the QR code shown on the screen or get the link in the description. Thank you for watching.